Hi everyone, this is Canon Pixma MG3650S and in this video I'm going to show you different methods how to scan on this multifunctional printer without connection to device on a smartphone and on a computer. Let's get into it right now. Generally speaking, the simplest example of scanning is making a copy because in order to print a copy the printer has to scan a document first, uh, save to its memory and only after this it prints the saved file. Uh, so to make a copy you need to place the document facing down on the scanner glass like this and make sure the top left corner of your document is aligned with this arrow pointing uh, to the corner of the scanning surface. So put the document like this and glide it to the edges. Fit snugly and then close the scanning lid. Uh, and you have two buttons, uh, black and color. Also this printer allows you to select paper size. So if you select A4, it will uh, upscale the document to A4 size. If you select 4 by 6 photo paper, it will downscale the image uh, to small uh, photo paper size. So let's select A4, uh, let's start color. And that's how it works. Let's compare. Uh, pretty good. Uh, this one, the copy is a bit more dimmed than an original, but still good. However, this kind of scan can be sent to your devices in digital form. So you, if you need digital scan, you need to connect the printer to Wi-Fi network and install a scanning application. Uh, Canon Print is far not the best scanning application I've seen, but uh, it still can provide you with the basic needs. I mean, scan, scan and save. So let's do this. First, let's connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network. In this video, I will show you only the simplest method that works for most users. So we will connect via WPS. To do this first, activate WPS on your printer, press and hold Wi-Fi button until you see blinking power indicator, then release the Wi-Fi button, press black copy button and Wi-Fi button once again. Now you see blinking Wi-Fi indicator and what you need is take your Wi-Fi router and press WPS button on your rotor's case. And wait for about 30 seconds until these indicators uh, stop blinking and uh, it means the printer is ready. For other methods watch in other videos uh, on our channel but this is the video about scanning. Uh, so uh, we're all set let's connect smartphone. Okay, you can get Canon print application from App Store, Google Play Store for Android devices and even a Microsoft Store for Windows computers. So get this application and open it. On the first launch you will be required to accept license agreement, uh, give some permissions to the application as always, as for any application. And then it takes you to the home screen and here you need to uh, make sure your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as you've connected your printer. And then just hit hit add slash switch this printer icon and register printer. Wait for the printer's model to appear here. That's it. Tap on that. And that's it. That's why WPS connection is my favorite method. Uh, so let's hit scan tile. You have three settings here. Original type, document or photo. Uh, color mode, color or grayscale, and original size, I mean your paper size. They even don't let you to select resolution of scanning, that's why this is the first reason I don't like this application. So once you're done, uh, set up everything, just place your document on the scanner glass, you already know how to do this correctly, and hit scan. Just wait for the result. Uh, and then you're allowed to uh, scan next page and create multi-page documents. So let me place another document on the scanning glass. And uh, only after you've placed the next page, hit scan one more time. 
and once you're done scanning hit exit and it takes you to the scan result and the second reason why i don't like this application no editing options at all you don't even have a chance to reorder pages or rotate pages uh, not to say about markup pages or add text this is ridiculous to me in any scanning application uh, has to be at least one editing feature at least reorder pages or delete pages uh, but nothing so you can just only share document select format uh, use as jpeg to separate as different uh, images and use as pdf to combine into one pdf file so let's use as pdf and it just takes you to system dialog of ios system where you can share file or save your file system or just print this file right away to scan from a computer you also need to install some software like drivers and utilities and as i told you before you can also install canon print for windows but in case of this printer i unfortunately i couldn't connect it to canon print on windows pc probably it's just it just has uh, outdated software and not fully compatible with newer operating systems i tried for several times even after uh, installing all drivers i failed uh, maybe you have different experience share with us in comments uh, so what you need to do to install this printer on windows pc at least uh, you need to open any web browser and enter uh, canon.com slash ij setup hit enter and it takes you to their website and uh, then you need to enter your printer's model in this field select your printer click go then select your operating system over here and download file i already have this file in my download so let me launch it and it takes me to the setup process you need to click on start setup and i'm skipping the setup process in this window just follow the instructions on this screen uh, i will take you right to the uh, last screen and show you which software do you need to install to scan uh, from this printer so the driver setup takes about four to five minutes and then it takes you to this window where you can install optional software and what you need to install here you can uncheck all check boxes because actually i don't like software by canon uh, but to scan you can use this quick menu thing so check this checkbox quick menu click next and install this software You can skip user registration and exit setup it takes you to the website you can minimize your browser and don't visit this website as well so here is the quick menu and you can extend it to large menu and here is scanning options uh, look at this interface like from early 2000s <laughs> i like it very much uh, and so what you can do here you can click on auto scan Uh, you can ignore this window and it's scanning so now you have this quick menu at the bottom left of your screen you can easily close it and reopen using this uh, desktop shortcut or later you can find it in your start menu and you can expand this menu by clicking on this corner icon and here is the scan section you have few scan modes over here auto photo document custom and scan gear like advanced mode and you can go to scan settings and set up each of these modes including advanced mode scan gear but actually guys to me this interface is over complicated it's too it's too much too much functions and they work they work not so good they still don't have editing tools like markup and so on uh, 
Um, but uh, you can experiment with these features and uh, use this option to scan. But I, I would even recommend you to not use a Canon Quick Menu. Uh, just uh, install this application to make the uh, scanner detectable for third-party applications. I would recommend you to get something from Microsoft Store. For example, uh, this application is pretty, mm, pretty good and best of all, it's free. So let me show you how it works. You just need to select your scanner in this drop-down uh, and select your output format, for example, PDF for, mul for multi-page files and select sc uh, scanning source. It's flatbed in this case. Resolution up to 600 DPI, yes, and uh, just scan. Very simple. And after scanning, as you can see, you can mark up, add text, rotate, crop pages. Uh, actually, everything you need just in one window without a necessity to walk around outdated 2000 year interface and so on. But uh, if you are a computer geek, you can uh, dive deep in Canon application, but I prefer to use something simple. Or if I need professional tools, I prefer really professional tools like Adobe Acrobat or Vue Scan. So, um, yes, they I paid, but they are much better than any Canon software for uh, the purposes of scanning. And that's it, guys. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and see you in the next videos. Be awesome. Bye, guys.